Laura Keitlinger, and this is Stand Up Stand Up at Comedy Central. Today's show is on relationships. I think if you're in a relationship for more than three years, it just has to end with a duel. On the day you break up, agree to meet at sunrise, and whoever lives gets the CDs. It's just the easiest way to do it. Here's Bob Odenkirk, Rich Voss, Tony Darrow, and David Feldman. Um, I've been having a lot of trouble with women this year, and uh, I'd like to do an impersonation of me talking to any woman in my life over the last year. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so that's that, and it goes on. It goes on like that. Uh, but uh, my girlfriend and I split up. Well, nine years we were together, and we were engaged, and uh, I was so nervous. I was, so, I was just shaken. And she said, look, you know what? You c we can write our own vows. How about that? We write our own vows. And that just eased it up for me, you know? Because I went and I wrote some vows, and I read these to her. And uh, here, let me read them to you. Um, so first she says, I'll love you forever and all that stuff. And then I would say, I'm very scared right now. I don't want to do this. Um, I wish I wasn't here. And I, I, I mean, I like you. I, you're nice. <laughs> you know, and uh, I'll tell you what. Let's just, let's be good friends forever. And then that that screwed it for me. What the f I put I put in the effort. I got separated in 94. Yeah. Hey, what are you going to do, man? Ruined my credit, lost my house, bankruptcy, but besides that everything was okay. We had a house in the worst area of Jersey, the worst. A little town called Phillipsburg, New Jersey. The inbred mutant capital of the country, folks. I'm telling you, they're all inbreds there. But their high school's always number one in the state in wrestling because it's hard to pin somebody with a hump on their back, okay? <laughs> what do you mean I had to hump down for 10 seconds? <laughs> How you doing? You're very good looking. Very pretty. Do you have any little brothers? Anyhow. <laughs> I ruined my credit. We ruined our credit. I didn't do it, my, my wife and I, we ruined it, man. I have no credit now. I applied for a visa card. They came to my house, knocked on the door and said, Rich Voss, I said yes, and they smacked me, okay? <laughs> I can't even get a blockbuster movie rental card. I gotta stand outside, yo, man, get me a tape, man. No, I'll have it back in three days. My word is bond. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My ex-wife cleaned me out, man. She took it all. Clothes, plants, furniture. I'm still getting evil her, though. She's anorexic, so I called every couple days to tell her she's gaining weight. <laughs> eating disorder. What's an eating disorder? Fork, food, mouth, okay? Fork, food, forehead. That's a disorder. <laughs> but my parents didn't hug me enough as a kid. Yeah, that's okay. Just quit wasting the cupcakes. <laughs> I've been married 11 years. Got quiet. Not anymore. Yeah, I tell you, after 11 years, they start nagging you about every little thing. Now she, my wife's on this kick. She wants me to have sex with her. God. I don't even like to eat her cooking. <laughs> it's there. Did you look at me, Sarah? I do this little comedy thing. I'm looking at the back of your head. I feel like we're having sex. Anyway. <laughs> 11 years, it's tough, man. Anybody newly married people here? Yeah, yeah how long have you been married? Three months. Three months. Where's that your husband over there? How you doing, sir? Let him speak for himself. <laughs> hey, you're doing good. Sure you're doing good. When you first get married, it's great. You're the king. You're like Martin Luther King. You have a dream. <laughs> After you're married a couple years, you're like BB King. The thrill is gone. <laughs> After you're married 11 years like me, you're like Rodney King. <laughs> Bruised and battered going, can't we just get along? 
Take it easy on me, please. I'm uh, not feeling well. My back is killing me. My wife and I tried something new in bed last night. An erection. <laughs> so, last time I let her talk me into something like that. We've been living down here in Los Angeles for a while, and when we first moved down here, we agreed no adultery. <laughs> Unless our wildest fantasy could come true. And we wrote them down on little pieces of paper. She picked Arnold Schwarzenegger, and uh, I picked Morgan Fairchild. Well, after a year went by, I said, honey, why don't we update the list? So she picked Hugh Grant, and I picked our babysitter. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm happily married, spent the day relaxing or watching an indecent proposal today. And I turned to my wife and I said, you know, honey, I don't think I can get a million dollars for you. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I can get 50 bucks 20,000 times. <laughs> she took that the wrong way. I thought I was complimenting her, but these days, women, no matter what you say now, you get slapped with a sexual harassment suit. You gotta watch every word you say. Like, for, you know, at the office now, I won't even talk to women. I just rub up against them. Stand up, stand up. We'll be back after these messages. Finally, a show that takes the very best of Patsy and Adina and shows you why they're the very worst. It's How to Be Absolutely Fabulous, hosted by Jennifer Saunders. Watch it. Monday night at 10, only at Comedy Central. Kids, do something different for a change. Get out, Philip. Okay, Mom. Introducing the great taste of new Taco Supreme flavor Doritos tortilla chips. That was a good idea. That was a real good idea. A bit wild, a bit sweet, a bit crazy. Size bits of crunchy heat toffee wrapped in creamy milk chocolate. Heat sensations. A bit toffee. Heat It's a hot world. Make sure you have a cool citrus drink. Drench it. Drench it. Sweet <sighs> thirst. It's powerful enough to reduce cooling bills by up to 40%. Strong enough to move 9,500 cubic feet of air per minute. Still, the Hunter ceiling fan is the quietest thing in the room. Hunter, quiet for life. Street Fighter, the action-packed adventure of the year is about to hit video stores everywhere. We're coming! Jean-Claude Van Damme, Raul Julia. You'll have to do better than that. Okay. Street Fighter, coming soon to video cassette. Hi, I'm Laura Keitlinger, and we're back with more Stand Up Stand Up, and we're talking about relationships. Candace writes to us from South Carolina. Let's see what she says. Uh, Dear Laura, I love your show. I watch it whenever I can hog the TV. I feel I can relate to everything you say, but in a few days I'll be going to Navy boot camp, and I'm sure the only thing we're allowed to watch there is going to be the Weather Channel. My biggest dream when I come to New York is to one day meet the entire cast of Saturday Night Live. Well, Candace, it amazes me that you said Saturday Night Live and boot camp in the same letter. All I can say is uh, be careful of what you wish for. Here's Stephanie Wilder, Andrea Lee, and Kathy Griffin. 
Okay. okay, but seriously, this is something I've always wondered if it's just me or what, but don't you hate when you're having sex? <laughs> don't you? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> you can't even fake it anymore, right? Can you? Guys want you to be honest all the time. You know, they're like, don't fake it, because the next time, how am I going to know, you know, if I was doing it right? Like, guys could handle the truth, right? <laughs> how many guys want to hear after they go, honey, does this feel good? You going, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm going to get a, I've been uh, writing some poems, because that's like the new thing to do that the kids are doing. So I thought I'd, uh, I wrote some poems. And um, it's my first time um, just reading some poems. I hope you enjoy them. Um, okay. <laughs> this first poem, excuse me, is called Back Off Jack. <laughs> hey, man, boy, boy, man, you think you could be little me? Make me cringe and squirm, and I will come crawling back like I did before. Before I knew that your guts, your balls, your guts had long been discarded like useless cardboard from a compact disc. You mule and pew, little man boy, but I don't need ya, or do I? Yup. Thank you, and um, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Gosh, thanks. Um, this next poem is called The Fuzzy Sparkly Lamb Goes Hopping Joyfully Off to Yum Yum World. <laughs> Look, Mr. Fuzzy Sparkly Lamb, I don't care if you're banding off to Yum Yum World. Why should I care? You think you just go there, hop, hop, hop. Oh, you're so whimsical, Mr. Fuzzy Sparkly Lamb. Well, your sparkles get into my eyes like shards of glass. And your fuzziness bores me. Or does it, yup? <laughs> oh, okay, speaking of freaks, okay, I just have to tell you about this guy that I occasionally, okay, I like occasionally sleep with him. And I'm convinced that, oh, do not judge. Okay, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> convinced that everyone has that person in their life that you can call at four in the morning and go, hey, who wants to get He goes, I do. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm so naughty. Okay, so anyway, um, so I have this guy in my life, and you know, he's like a friend, and then we, you know, and then we talk, and whatever. Okay, so, um, but what I love about him is that he, okay, first of all, he's a huge asshole, right? Which means he's great in bed. <laughs> because that's the rule. Have you noticed that? The bigger the jerk, the better he is in bed. It's so frustrating. It is the law. Okay, so anyway, he, um, he, he sort of took me away for like a romantic getaway. And we went to this really fancy hotel, which was weird because normally he's really cheap, but I won't get into it. Anyway, um, I hate that. Okay, so anyway, we go to this fancy hotel, and I was like, who died? And he was like, my credit card. So anyway, then um, we, so then, uh, uh, we go and then we have we like we have sex all afternoon and then um, oh okay wait let me just say this also have you ever noticed how it's like the stuff that okay the stuff that a guy can say to me in bed I would kill him for out of bed <laughs> okay like in like okay for example if a man if we're making tender love and he wants to say something like um, take it you whore I I'm like you know okay whatever. Um, <laughs> Like out of bed, I would just slap him and call him a sexist pig. Um, or, for example, like if, if we were out of bed and he wanted me to call him master, I would think that that was inappropriate. <laughs> but in bed, it's like, give me the shackles. You're watching Doritos Stand Up Stand Up. You're watching Doritos Stand Up Stand Up at Comedy Central. At 2.30, the kids in the hall will take over your mind. Be scared. Why don't you 
kids do something different for a change. Get outside. Okay, Mom. Introducing the great taste of new Taco Supreme flavor Doritos tortilla chips. That was a good idea. That was a real good idea. Here's the coolest thing you can do when you're hot. Ruby Red Squirt, a citrus berry blast. This. Once again, MTV obliterates pomp and circumstance with a stunning exhibition of outrageous behavior. Who is movie dumb's most desirable? Best kisser, baddest bad guy. There's only one place to find out. Y'all ready for this? Ready or not, it's the fourth annual MTV Movie Awards, Thursday, June 15th at 9 p.m. on MTV. Plug in. It's quality you can count on from Cox Cable. Ming Dynasty welcomes you to taste the tradition of the finest Sichuan, Mandarin, and Hunan cuisine, using only the freshest seafood available, just as it once was prepared for the emperors of China. Enjoy an exotic cocktail from our full-service bar. Try our vegetarian menu. We also have a banquet facility to easily accommodate the largest parties, and our delivery service for home dining arrives straight from the kitchen. The only Chinese restaurant in Santa Barbara to win the prestigious Southern California Restaurant Writers Silver Award. Ming Dynasty invites you to taste the tradition. You know, I'm tired of books on how to find a relationship, how to improve your life. You know, if you read between the lines, they're still telling you that you're nothing without a man. I prefer the ones from the 40s and the 50s because they just get right to it. They just come right out and say, ladies, shave your legs, put on a tight dress, and take a shower. You'll find Mr. Wonderful. Here's Lori Kilmartin, Rich Franchese, and Matt Weinhold. Uh, very romantic uh, man. He did give me a vibrator, which is... Good, yeah. Sad thing is, uh, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I thought it was a really pretty egg scrambler. <laughs> He's in the bedroom getting horny. I'm in the kitchen making omelets. <laughs> hey, this is better than the juice man. <laughs> I don't know why he gave me one. I'm not the type that would use one. I know I'm a big mouth on stage, but it's all talk. Off stage, I'm Irish Catholic. I get real nervous. Hell, I get, I get worried when I tuck in a long T-shirt. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's not, uh, he's not real big on the foreplay, I'll tell you that. In fact, this is all the warning I get when he's aroused. <laughs> Lori, I got one. <laughs> nice. Of course, now that I have the vibrator, I can go, me too. <laughs> Look what's got an off switch. <laughs> uh, my mom likes him. That's good. You always want your mom to like your boyfriend. In fact, she gave me some great advice I know the women will really appreciate hearing. She pulled me aside on our first date and said, Honey, now remember, a gentleman never makes a lady pay on the first date. A gentleman always opens a door for a lady and a lady never takes it up the butt. Have fun, dear. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, that's not verbatim what she said, but you know, when I tried that joke out on her, she said, I don't want to be in that one. <laughs> well, if she were a grandpa, <laughs> she took one for the gipper, God love her. So let me ask this, a lot of women, do, do women, do you like guys that are cheap? No? no? Ah, too bad, I thought it could be my year. <laughs> Actually, I'm not cheap. Actually, let me tell you something. When I meet women, I'm a sport. When I meet women, I give them diamonds. So here, take it, it means nothing to me. And when I have it appraised, it means nothing to them, too. <laughs> and then it's usually too late, you know. You ever go out with someone you had nothing in common with? Because everyone's going, yes, we all have. <laughs> I was dating this woman recently. She was from Connecticut. I'm from New York, you know. Well, she's very preppy. Well, she liked to golf. Now, folks, take a look. <laughs> I'm not exactly the country club type over here, right? I mean, to me, a nine iron is exhibit A. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, all right? 
Actually, I'll tell you one thing. I do a lot of crime jokes about being Italian. I was on the other side of the law for a while. I was in a police academy. <laughs> oh, great, my parole board's here tonight, all right. I was, but I quit because they stereotyped against Italians. When it came time to go to the shooting range, they took all the Italians to a separate shooting range where the target was a man sitting down eating a bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> But I don't like the young girls anymore. I can't go with really young women anymore. It's just hard to relate. I don't even know how to pick up an 18-year-old now. What do you say, you know? I'd like to take you home and raise you. <laughs> <laughs> if you let me have sex with you, I'll let you play with my keys. You're a funny bunny. You're a funny bunny. <laughs> oh, I've had my share of romantic entanglements. But you know what I always say. If at first you don't succeed, try, try a prostitute. <laughs> That was Lori Kilmartin, Rich Franchese, and Matt Weinhold. You can write to us if you'd like at Stand Up Stand Up, Box 730, Madison Square Station, New York, New York, 10159. You know, I've got to tell you, I'm still a little bit upset about the guy who had sex with Marla Maple's shoe. Why can't I find a guy like that? It seems like I always wind up with the ones that want to do it with me. And it would be so much easier just to point to my closet and go, there you go, go crazy. <laughs> See ya. of Comedy Central. You met your match today, fish. Man one, fish zero. Sucker. <laughs> Get tough with the kids in the hall. Next. Can't you just smell the testosterone?